The definition of the word justice is having a concern for equality, fairness, peace and a genuine respect for other people. Now justice links to one of our British values, the rule of law. The other British values are democracy, individual liberty, mutual respect and tolerance of people with different faiths and beliefs to us. Learning about and holding these values helps us to live happy, caring citizens and helps make the world a peaceful place to be. Justice links to the rule of law because in our country we have law for everyone to follow to help keep us safe and happy. If someone breaks the law and commits a crime, they must have to go to court where the jury would seek justice for the person who, ha who was the victim. Justice can also mean standing up for people who need our help. Ow, what was that for? I don't know. Evie, don't do that. Why? Because you hurt Rugula. Sorry, Rugula. <laughs> so justice can be about making sure people are treated fairly. This doesn't always mean having a fair share though. Sometimes we need to give people in need a bigger share because their need is greater than ours. When you do this, you are helping to bring justice to that person. Gospel, chapter 18 verses 23 to 35. It is the parable of the unmerciful servant. It tells us the story of a servant worker who owed the king a lot of money but he couldn't afford to pay it back. The king showed justice, compassion and mercy towards the servant and let him off, freeing him of all of his debts. However, the servant then met an Another worker who owed him some money. Instead of letting him off, like the king had done for himself, he demanded that the worker paid him back every penny. When the king heard of this, he was furious and summoned the servant back to him, saying, I forgive you for the full amount which you owed me. You should have mercy on your fellow servant, just as I had mercy on you. And so he sent the servant to jail to be punished until he paid back the full amount to you. This leads to our word of the week because in the parable of the king made sure that the justice was brought when the servant did not forgive his fellow worker. The message in this scripture to treat other people as we would like to be treated ourselves. When we do this and we show mercy, forgiveness and compassion, we are bringing justice and fairness to others and that helps them and us to encounter Jesus in our lives and live as one of his disciples. This week's reflection is... The Fantastic Foil Reflection! Take a piece of foil Look at the shiny side and thank God for all the fairness and justice that you have in your life. For your home, your family, your friends, food, clothes, a school to go to and a peaceful country. Now scrunch the foil up into a loose ball and think about all those people in the world who do not have ju justice in their lives. The homeless, those trapped in modern slavery, Children who are forced to commit crimes, people who are bullied, people who are blamed for things they did not do, people who are the victim of racism, people who live at war in torn countries. Ask God to be with them and bring them comfort and peace. Now smooth out the ball and give thanks for all those people in the world that help bring justice to others. Teachers, medical staff, people who work for charities, 
the police and judges. Pray that God will bless them and pray that like them, we can help bring justice to other people. Your mission this week is to try and stand up for anyone you see who may not be treated fairly. Look out for people on the playground and make sure that they are being included and that people are being kind. If not, tell someone and stand up for them. Pray for the people who aren't treated treated fairly in our world. We pray for the people who are victims of crime. Pray for the people who are hungry, lonely and sad. Then you'll be helping bring justice to our world. Good luck, guys!